Oh yeah, baby. We're finally back. It is so motherfucking hot in Texas right now. I just, I forget every time. I can't believe I lived here for 20 years. You know what time it is, baby. Look at that fucking, that's what, I'm not gonna lie, it's one of the coolest like little start screens that I've ever seen in a whip. It starts with the engine in the middle and then you see the little motherfucking, um, where's my miles at in here, bro? I think I gotta press it one more time, there we go. Yes, yes, as you can see, almost a thousand miles. We're gonna talk about, all right, the title's kinda clickbait, I'm not gonna lie. This is easily one of the most exciting cars I've ever bought, ever had. Maybe my most favorite. Maybe even more than the AMG GT, which is like kind of hard to say because that car is so tough to beat But I fucking love this thing. I'm not gonna lie, but But it being my first American car and my first brand new car There's a couple things in here that I'm really not too big of a fan of man And actually we'll do the first one right now. Like I said, I have under a thousand miles on this car I am 160 pound individual What the fuck? Bro, the wear that this seat already has is crazy. This one doesn't have as much, obviously, but like, bro, I've driven this thing like a thousand, I've been in this car like 10 hours, like 15 hours, that's crazy. My M3 has 25,000 miles on it, and it doesn't have a single leather wear or anything, bro, but like, bro, this is the top level trim. This is not only the 3LT, which you pay for an upgraded seat, I paid for the next upgraded seat. So this is the most expensive, most quality premium seat that you could possibly have in a C8. And for one, there's still cloth. This is cloth. This is an Alcantara. Like there's some Alcantara on the headliner. There's even some like Alcantara in here pockets. Like it's nice, leather stitching. This does not have any Alcantara. It's got a little carbon, whatever, cool. This is cloth. That's cloth right there. This is like a really weird, cheap feeling leather. Like, bro, they look cool. I'm not gonna lie, it's a cool looking seat. They're kind of comfortable, but GM, what the? We'll even take it a step further. Instead of the number one thing being just the seats, we're gonna go build quality in general because there's certain things like, my M3 is a similar price MSRP. Like my C63, similar price MSRP. Around 70K with options, maybe 80 or 90. But like you're paying a good amount of fucking money for this car, right? It's not like I'm buying a Mustang and expecting a shit interior, right? Paying for the engine. But this, I'm paying for like the whole motherfucking shebang. But like, look at the stitching quality right here, bro. And then look, like there's some like uneven ass stitching. Like look, what the fuck? This one's almost coming out. Wait for this though. I've never seen this in any car. I think I actually have to take it back to the dealership. Chevy. What the fuck is this? Look at this. This shit's like coming off right here. I don't know if you can see. I had to tuck it back in there, but like this whole thing is like open. I don't even know what that is. But like it was literally peeling off onto my foot while I drove, so I had to like tape it back. I have no fucking, bro, that is crazy. My car's coming apart. I have 900 miles on it. Like, bro, is that even serious? Like, is that, is that a real, Am I in a real $90,000 car right now? Do you see what I'm seeing? The passenger's one is arguably worse. I do not have fat bitches in this car, bro, all right? Like the heavy, like I'm one of the heaviest people that have been in this car 100%. What is that? Let's go. Oh, drop something. All right, next thing that sucks a lot of ass is this fucking front camera, bro. I want you to, look, look at this spot. Not that hard to get into, right? It's almost more difficult to use this. Like, I understand it's just so you don't like scrape and you know where the front end is, but this is the most ridiculous, like, I can't even tell if I'm on the line on the left side or not. You know what I mean? But like, if I just look up, it's super easy. This is almost useless. Like, the only part that's useful is this so I can know like how far forward I have to go. But even then, it feels super sketch. Like, I don't know, maybe I just gotta get used to it, but I'm coming from the C63, like, all-around camera. The M3 has an all-around camera. Same price as this car, you know what I mean? And even if it wasn't the all-around, like, fuck the sides, the front camera on those cars is infinitely better. The front parts accessories are infinitely better. What the fuck is this? It's like a, I don't even know what this is, bro. It's crazy. 
That's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, another thing, because it's raining now and we can demonstrate it, for some reason, I've never seen this on a car before. This is inside the car. So like, when I open the door, all the rain falls and it just slides all in here. It's like, it gets all in the car. It is the weirdest thing I've ever seen, but if you're raining, if it's raining outside, you almost can't get in your car without it getting super wet. So weird. The last thing, and it's kind of a nitpick, uh, and I can't really show it to you because it's daytime right now. There is zero ambient lighting in this car. And I'm not even talking about like my BMW, you know, you can go from like blue and purple and orange. I don't even want all that. I just want some light. Like I just, the only thing you see at nighttime is this bright ass screen, that bright ass screen, and then like the D or M, depending on which mode you're in. That's it. Like, if you drop something down there, you're fuck. I can't even see shit right now. It's dark as fuck. It's not that big of a deal. It doesn't affect like the drive of the car or anything, but it is a little tiny bit like annoying, I guess. Or you really don't even know that you need or want any lighting in your car until you're just in a pitch black ass seat and you're like, this is just, it's almost hard on your eyes. I'm not trying to like nitpick here, but like realistically, you can turn down the brightness and everything, but like, I got, just give me like a, a line right here of light. You know what I mean? Give me a light on my door. Give me a little. It, um, it's not that big of a deal. The first two things actually suck. This one's just kind of annoying. <laughs> but then you hear the V8 right behind you and all those little things don't really matter. Like fuck ambient lighting, bro, you know what I mean? The two biggest things that people say that they do not like in this car is one, the visibility, which it's it's okay. I mean, the blind spots are pretty fucking fat. Like if I look over my shoulder, there's just nothing. Like there's just not a goddamn thing there. That side, there's nothing, all right? But like, that's kind of what you get with the mid-engine, low car, like, I was kind of expecting that, you know what I mean? I wasn't expecting those other things. Um, people hate on the storage too in this car, which is like the second biggest thing, but honestly, I fuck with the storage, bro. I've never had a frunk before, which is super lit. Um, the back is actually, it holds a lot, especially if you don't put the target top in there. Like, it's, I mean, what do you want to do besides grocery shop and, it fits, I think, golf clubs, if I'm not mistaken. That's how you know Corvettes are for old people, because I'm pretty sure when they advertise this car, they're like, you can fit your golf clubs in the back. Like, fuck you, I'm not 70 years old. You know what I'm saying? But uh, shout out to all the golfers out there. Shout out to this car. There's a couple things, you know, title's clickbait. I fucking love it. It's arguably the most fun I've ever had in a car. And I was gonna say, honestly, one of the things on my list for this video was naturally aspirated V8, which sounds weird, okay, but hear me out. I'm coming from a turbo, like all turbo cars. Every single car I've ever had had twin turbos or one turbo, whatever. So whenever you touch the gas pedal a little bit in a turbo car, you're like, you know, and it feels like a go-kart. You're like, oh shit, I'm in the back of my seat. This car is naturally aspirated. You gotta rev it out. Max torque comes at like 4,700 RPM, 5,000 RPM. So it's just a different drive, but I love it a lot more. I came to love it a lot more because I can redline through first, second, and third without breaking every single law in the world. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's a lot more fun. It's a lot more usable power. Apparently it's faster than my M3, which it doesn't feel like, but it's fucking awesome. So that's gonna be the video. More C8 content coming soon. POVs, fucking chills times. I don't know. I love you. Stay safe, all right? It's a dangerous world out on those roads. Peace.